So I have been having the hardest time finding clothes like to wear. I feel like I have a bunch of like fall clothes. Well, not fall clothes. I have a bunch of like spring clothes. I have a bunch of summer clothes, but I really don't have stuff to wear for like fall and winter. So I went on Timu and I was like, okay, I'm just gonna buy things that feel good. And I created this Pinterest board and I was like, oh, what is my style? And I realized that my style is like the Southern romantic kind of classic style. And I did like a color analysis and my, my colors are like deep autumn colors, which makes sense. I'm, I'm definitely an olive girl, um, a burgundy. I love me some like yellows, burnt orange, stuff like that. So I was like, okay, I know my colors. I know in general what my style is. So I was like, okay, I'm going to go on Timu and I'm going to buy some pieces. So we're going to try these pieces on and see how I feel about this. <laughs> On a normal basis, I am wearing things like Tay sweat clothes, like his sweatshirts, his workout outfits, and then like I'll put on some, I know it's so janky, I've been wearing pajama pants, or um, I have found like some loungewear, so the loungewear stuff that I wore in my last haul, I'm still wearing some of those pieces, but of course they don't really fit that well, and then I'll wear like sweatpants and stuff, so that is like my fall winter wardrobe, and I'm just sick of it, like I'm done not looking put together for this season, and so I have plenty of stuff for spring. Like I have a bunch of like, like a lot of dresses and stuff like that. But fall, winter, I just don't know how to dress myself. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to explore my options. So I decided to shop on Timu. I've been hearing a lot about it. And I was like, okay, let me at least try this website out. I've done Shein, so I'm like, okay, maybe it might be the same. I don't know. So I tried them out um, and I am pleasantly surprised by what I purchased. The one thing, well, a couple of things. One, their shipping time was chef's kiss. Like I was a little bit nervous that it was gonna take a long time or that there were gonna be some issues, but I had zero problems. They said that it would arrive within, I think like seven to 10 days. It got here in seven, which was great. Um, and then the only thing, and this is not their fault, this is my fault. When I was like shopping, I, one, first off, I shopped at night. And so I'm, I'm a nighttime shopper. And so I know that probably my brain was like the freshest to shop matching my mood board that I had created. And so, I'm looking at all my pieces and I'm like, oh my gosh, I bought a lot of beige and I'm not like a beige tan girly. The color looks good on my skin, but like that is not quite the style that I was going for. I don't think the pieces are fine, but I'm just like, wow, I really like didn't buy much color and I've been trying to like step out of my box and wear more color. Like instead of just wearing black or white, like instead of wearing like very neutral tones, I wanted to wear like some colors and I got like two pieces that have colors and everything else is just beige and i mean i don't mind but i'm just like dang i don't know how to get out of that headspace but what i am excited about is to try these pieces on because once i try these pieces on i feel like i have a better idea of what fit and what style works for me and then i can go for a thing i can like you know we shop at like other sites that I feel like are gonna have a higher quality clothing um, so that I can like really find what my style is because I really do want to just like not I don't want to say up level my wardrobe but I want to like step into what the new version of me like this post baby version of me is like right what it, what am I wearing what am I doing how am I being and I know that the first thing I need to do is like kind of start with or get my wardrobe under wraps so the first thing I did was my hair which I haven't talked about this but like one of the first things that I had to do to like really embrace this new version of myself was figure out what we were doing with this hair because as much as I love my loose natural hair it was a lot of work and I found myself really like not going places, not doing things, getting really in my head or spending a ton of time trying to do my hair, which made it to where like, I don't even want to go no more. Like, I don't want to go anymore if I have to do all this stuff. Now, I literally bantu knot my hair like every four or five days and I just wake up and go. And it's been amazing and it's been so good for my mental health. And so that's what I want to do with my wardrobe. Like, I guess it's good that I bought like more neutral pieces because I pretty much always match so it's not hard for me to just like okay I'm gonna pull this I'm gonna pull this I'm gonna wear it and that's it first piece is this little sweater number I am very nervous about this sweater because I was looking for an oversized chunky sweater but this is cropped and I didn't want to buy a cropped sweater I don't think I was paying attention I didn't realize it was cropped I didn't really want to buy a cropped sweater um, so I'm a little nervous about where it's gonna fall and I'm really nervous about like okay so how do I actually style this because I saw like some of the girls were like tuck it into like a skirt or something like that so I'm like I don't really know how I'm gonna style this knowing that it's cropped and I'm just not a crop girly right like I'm just not in the cropped season of life 
Um, so I don't know how I'm feeling about this, but I do like how it feels and I, the sleeves are structured so well. I'm, I'm a sucker for a good sleeve. And so these sleeves, like they're giving me, like they're giving what it's supposed to give. I would say like after trying this on, I still felt like I, I knew I wasn't going to care too much for the little cropped area. I knew I wasn't going to care too much for that. So honestly, I'm going to give the sweater like a seven. Um, but maybe as I'm styling it, maybe as I'm wearing it more, it might like bump up in ratings. But like, I'm just going to give it like a, mm, it's not terrible, but it's like not, I don't think it's the best fit for me, but it does match the style and aesthetic that I'm going for. So I can't be too hard on it. It's not, it's not the sweater's fault that I didn't like check to make sure that it wasn't cropped. But I just really wish that there was more fabric. I don't know what's up with like all the shirts nowadays. They're all cropped but like I really wish we would go back to like having a full shirt and like let the crop girlies cut the shirt I don't know but like give us back all the fabric <laughs> so the second piece and something that I'm really excited about is this little jumpsuit number so I was really excited about this until dun, 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 I realized that the hoodie was cropped and again it is not the outfit's fault that it's cropped I probably was just not paying attention and didn't realize that it was cropped but I have a feeling that I'm not going to care too much for this cropped number and the other thing for me is that like I understand like with cropped things you can like pull up the pants or pull up like the waistband so that you can have like a um what do you call it like a high top but I don't know what you call it but anyway um Oh, high-waisted like I know that we can do that but like I don't want to do that uh, I don't want to do that because sometimes high-waisted if it's not made to be high-waisted it's not flattering on my butt and so I'm just like mm. I feel like this is something that I'm gonna wear around the house it's gonna be something that I wear like to go somewhere and sit so like when I go and work and I'm working at like Starbucks or Panera I'll wear this there but this is not gonna be like a oh let's go run errands kind of thing and I think the only reason why is because I'm gonna be very self-conscious and thinking about the fact that like oh, this is cropped, like you can see my skin, you can see, you know, like mostly you can see my skin, like I just don't want to really show my midsection skin, not because I'm ashamed of it, but because I'm like, I'm a grown woman, like I don't feel like showing skin like that. So, um, so, and no judgment, if you want to show your skin, do it baby, because I love showing my boobies, but I don't want to show my stomach. I don't know what the morality behind that is. But anyway, that's just how I'm feeling. I am going to give this, hmm, I think I'm going to, I love the color. This is one of the few things that I got that is, are color, that has color in it. So I really do like this. It's so warm. Um, so I'm going to rate this at eight out of 10. So this, color, this is going to get a high rating simply because the color is beautiful. The color looks nice on me. Um, the only downside is that I'm hating that this is like cropped, but I'm not going to rate it low just because it's cropped because it is nice. So this dress right here, I'm going to be honest. I don't think I was paying attention to the description. I don't know what I was thinking when I purchased this because I don't know what this is. Like, this is definitely not flowers on the sleeve. Um, I can already tell before even putting it on that the waist is not going to fit me well uh, because the elastic is already loose. So I don't really know what's going on with this dress. Like, this dress is not giving what I thought it was going to give. And I don't even know why I picked this dress because I don't wear prints like this. And maybe that's why I was trying to like do something different. But like I need to just mind my business and not do different things because different don't like me. But we're going to try this on and see how I feel. So I was right. I knew I was not going to like this. Um, the sleeves aren't like giving me any kind of dimension or dynamic or anything. It does have a little like elastic here, which is nice because I know it won't like slide or anything. But otherwise, this was a lot to be desired. The waist just did not work. Um, and I knew that already. I knew as soon as I saw the elastic was like flimsy I was like yeah this is not gonna work I do like the length the length goes all the way down to the floor so that's really nice um but otherwise I mean I definitely felt like a little peasant in this dress but I think that this is a dress that if it was um better quality like even looking at this dress like it's so unfinished in some areas and I'm just like what happened here uh so I feel like if this was a higher quality dress, I probably could like get it tailored and a lot of things could be fixed on it, but I don't really want to do all that work. This might be a dress that I like do it myself just to see if I can. Um, but yeah, there's a lot to be desired here. Overall, I just was not feeling it. So I'm going to rate this one a four out of 10, just because there were a lot of like structural problems going on here as well. The good thing is, is that it's not see-through. Like I was just trying to see if it was like see-through, but it's not see-through. So that's good. So, I mean, there are some like redeeming qualities to it, but overall, mama's not feeling it okay so we're gonna give her a good old four and she's definitely gonna be something that i wear around the house when i'm cleaning 
but like nothing. This is a dress that I'm super excited about, but now that I'm looking at it, I'm getting a little nervous because it has this little cap sleeve and I've worn cap sleeves before and just, mm -mm -mm, I did not like cap sleeves. So I am interested to see how this is gonna fit. The thing that I'm also nervous about is that it's a bit sheer in some areas. So obviously I could wear like a slip or something. So I'm not really tripping about it being a little sheer, but even in like, you know, not the best lighting right now, it's still looking a bit sheer. So I am a little bit concerned about that, but I think that this will be nice. The color is definitely one of my power colors. So I'm excited about that. Okay, girl. I should have known better. I, the sleeves was the tip off. Okay. The sleeves were the tip off. I, <laughs> The sleeves are terrible. Like, I hate the sleeves. I just, I don't like the sleeves on me. And now that I'm looking at the rest of the sleeve, the rest of the sleeve left a lot to be desired too. There's just no, there's no real like structure happening here. The elastic here at the end is just not the best quality. Um, it's not as see-through as I thought, but it's giving me like, I don't even know. Like it makes me think about the Nightmare Before Christmas. Like what, what the, what the main character is wearing. Like how <laughs> his shirt is, it just like, ugh. This was not it. This was not it. Um, this was not it. This was not it. And I mean, on, for, on face value, it's like, oh, this is cute. We can work with this, but not really. Like, this is not something. And I was actually really excited because I know, like, I want to wear this, like, to a Christmas party or something. I feel like there are things that I can do to this to kind of zhuzh it up to make it work. But I also feel like, girl, just go buy another dress that you like because this is not happening. Like, this is not happening. I don't even know what I could do to fix this the way that I would like to wear it. But the more I look at it, the more I realize that this doesn't match any of the, the aesthetic or the style that I was going for in the first place. So I really think that I picked this dress because I like the color, not because of anything else. And that's a lesson, right? It's a lesson for me to like not just buy things just because I like the color, but to really look at the actual structure. But this is also good for me to see, like I, I need to learn how to shop based on the style. So yes. That's what we're gonna say about this. It's kind of crazy that I'm like judging these clothes in pajama pants, but I mean, that's a whole another conversation. We're not gonna talk about that right now because we're just not gonna talk about it. So uh, this dress right here, I am so excited about it because sleeves, baby. The sleeves are giving. I'm so happy about these sleeves. I mean, this is what I mean by like, I'm a sucker for a sleeve. Like they gave us the elastic cinch. They gave us like some little ruffles or whatever. I mean, this is what, I like, this is my style. It's it's give, it's doing the booby thing. I love my boobies and it's just giving me like, like it's giving me the drama, but like in a very tasteful way because like I can clearly see like, okay, if even if it is a little bit low, I'll be able to pin it. Um, but I feel like once I put it on, it's gonna cover over nicely. So I'm loving it. The length is just chef's kiss. It looks like it goes to my ankles, which is perfect. Um, I am a shorter girl, I'm 5'4", so I am pretty short. So if you're tall, I feel like this would obviously not hit your ankles. But I mean, maybe depending on like the sizes and stuff like that of the dresses, it might. Um, I can't even remember what sizes I got, so I'll have to put that in the description to like say what size I got. Um, I'll add that in, but I am feeling this dress so far. And girl, I knew I was gonna love this dress. I knew I was gonna love this dress. The sleeves, it did it for me. The sleeves made me so happy. Like, the sleeves just did it for me. The the front area, like I thought, it did not expose me too much, which I really like. I, I love showing and like accenting my assets, obviously. I like doing that, but I like doing it in a very tasteful way. And I feel like this dress did that. It also felt really good on my butt, which I'm not self-conscious about my butt, but I do want the thing to be showing, especially around the house. like because my husband's here. <laughs> but I love so I love that kind of stuff and I know that he likes those kind of things too. So I know that this is gonna be a dress that he's gonna be like, okay girl, that's why I married her. You know, <laughs> that kind of thing. So I'm really, I love this dress. This dress is definitely gonna be a nine. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna give anything a 10 out of 10 just because like this dress is kind of sheer. So like that for me, I'm like, oh, why do y'all make stuff that I have to wear a slip under? All those slips are kind of sexy. So I mean, I guess we can give this a 10 out of 10. So let's give this a 10 out of 10 because this dress did it. Like this dress, it matches the style that I'm going for going forward. And it also like just has all the details and the quality of it is really good. Like I, I'm nervous about certain, buying from certain sites, but the quality of this was actually really good. And I'm trying not to judge this site on quality um, just because like I know that a lot of things probably won't be the highest quality and I didn't buy these things to have like quality long-term pieces, but 
the quality of this is actually really nice so i'm really feeling this this one gets a 10 out of 10 for me this is my last piece i didn't know it was my last piece because i thought i had one more but i bought two of the same dress um and so yeah i don't know why i did that because the sizes aren't even different so it's literally two of the same dress but the sleeves <laughs> the sleeves are getting yes i love it we have it's just the detail the detail that they paid to this sleeve it's just it's giving me all the feels um i feel like this is um one of those dresses that you can wear both ways like you can wear it this way or you can wear it off the shoulder um i'll probably wear it up actually just because i'm still wearing a bra and stuff like that like a nursing bra i know that i could like probably wear a, a different type of bra but i don't want to so i'm probably gonna wear it like capped up but i do love that it can be an off the shoulder number very sexy very romantic which is like the style that i'm going for i'm going for a more romantic feel to my wardrobe so i'm excited about that um i usually don't enjoy when like the dress is structured like this like i don't even know what you call this but like i usually don't enjoy this but this dress and the last dress both have it and i'm like hmm I think I like this now because I can see why it's romantic. So I'm feeling it. The dress is long. And I love at the bottom how it's not like just a straight down dress, but like it has like a little bit of, um, I, I wouldn't say it's detail, but just gives me like a ruffle. It just gives me like something else to add a little zhuzh to the dress. So I'm feeling it. It's giving me like peasant, but it's giving me like a romantic peasant. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense, but like I'm feeling I'm liking it. Girl, this dress is it. I'm so glad that I have two of it because I can wear it on Monday and Friday and it's a clean dress. So I'm, this dress is a 10 out of 10. Like I already, this is the, this is the dress. This is the dress that I know Tay is going to be like jumping all on me and I'm going to have to beat him off with a stick because baby is not having any more babies. Um, but for real though, <laughs> I love this dress. This dress, I'm going to wear this as often as I possibly can. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I feel like I like this dress more than the other one. Like, So the other one will get the nine out of 10, like I thought in the first place. And then this one will get the 10 out of 10. I'm pretty sure that I'm actually gonna wear it off the shoulder. Even if I'm wearing a bra, I'll just pull those the straps down. I don't even care at this point. I like this dress. I feel like this dress is something I can wear anywhere. And the only thing I'm trying to think through is that I was supposed to be shopping for winter, and with the sleeves being off the shoulder, I'm wondering what I can do with this. I know that the sweater won't match over this because I didn't buy the sweater properly. So we're gonna have to figure out how to make this like a little bit more winter because I feel like it's not. Although I could buy like a really long trench coat or something or one of those little cute, um, not pleated, but like pe peplum style coats. That might be really cute. And then put that over this and then winter baby, winter. It's giving. We're gonna think about it. But I'm excited. Like, this haul was a good one. All right, that's it for this one. 